The passage provides a critical analysis of the state space and situation space models and their roles in problem solving, drawing attention to both their potential and their limitations. These models offer important frameworks that help structure the process of addressing complex problems. They provide systems with methods for evaluating situations, identifying goals, and determining the steps required to achieve those goals. However, their effectiveness heavily depends on access to reliable data and prior experience. Without accurate information or relevant prior knowledge, the models may produce incomplete or flawed solutions, highlighting the necessity of grounding problem-solving systems in dependable sources of information. Another significant challenge these models face is the evaluation of conflicting or contradictory evidence. Effective problem solving requires not only the ability to generate possible solutions, but also the capacity to critically assess each potential path. The text emphasizes the importance of a cautious and analytical approach, one that avoids hasty conclusions and ensures that all available evidence is carefully considered. This aspect is particularly important in real-world problem solving, where decisions often carry substantial consequences and overlooking contradictory information can lead to errors or unintended outcomes. The process of problem solving is described as involving multiple layers. It begins with the confirmation of the existence of a solution and extends to the actual construction and implementation of that solution. This distinction highlights the need for both analytical reasoning and practical application. A historical example provided is the General Problem Solver Program, developed in the early 60s, which illustrates the systematic use of the situation space framework. The program applies a structured methodology to analyze problems, considering the initial state, the target state, and the operations that can transform one state into another. This example demonstrates the importance of organized methodical approaches, showing how careful planning and systematic reasoning can guide the problem-solving process and increase the likelihood of success. Despite the advantages of structured methodologies, the text also notes certain limitations. Highly organized and formalized approaches may restrict creative thinking, and reduce the exploration of alternative or intuitive solutions. While systematic frameworks are effective for breaking down complex problems into manageable components, overly rigid adherence to these structures may prevent the discovery of innovative approaches that do not fit neatly into predefined procedures. This tension between systematic reasoning and creative flexibility is a recurring theme in discussions of problem-solving methodologies, highlighting the need for a balanced approach that incorporates both analytical rigor and imaginative thinking. In conclusion, while state space and situation space models provide valuable tools for understanding and solving problems, their practical application is not without challenges. Successful problem solving requires systems that are grounded in reliable data, capable of evaluating conflicting evidence and flexible enough to allow for creative and adaptive reasoning. By combining systematic methodologies with critical thinking and openness to alternative solutions, these models can serve as powerful instruments for addressing complex problems while avoiding the pitfalls of rigid or uninformed approaches. The discussion underscores the importance of integrating structured methods with thoughtful evaluation and imaginative exploration, demonstrating that effective problem solving is both a science and an art. Artificial intelligence models function as tools for theorem proving, interpreting statements or sets of statements to enable the automatic evaluation and dismissal of certain claims. These models rely heavily on how problems are represented, but traditional problem representations, such as discarding potential successor nodes in problem reduction scenarios, 
often fail to provide computers with true representational independence. In other words, while AI systems can manipulate information according to program rules, they still lack the flexibility and general understanding that humans bring to problem solving. Researchers have developed programs designed to simulate skillful performance in tasks traditionally associated with human intelligence. Examples include Samuel's Checkers Playing Program and Greenblatt's Chess Algorithms. These programs demonstrate that AI can replicate specific human abilities in controlled environments, yet general problem solvers, game playing programs, and similar systems continue to struggle with complex tasks that require genuine understanding, adaptability, and intuition. The system inference paradigm proposed by John McCarthy emphasizes that problems should have identifiable solutions accompanied by clear methods to verify correctness. Well-defined puzzles and challenges exemplify this principle, illustrating the importance of structured problem representation and systematic solution strategies. A historical example is the 15 puzzle created by Sam Lloyd, which represents a clearly defined problem with straightforward criteria for success. Other classic challenges in problem solving include the confusion of patents problem, traveling salesperson dilemmas, water jug challenges, and sliding block puzzles. These examples highlight how different types of problems vary in complexity and the strategies required to solve them. AI approaches often involve analyzing the state-space representation of a problem, examining the size and structure of the space, and identifying heuristics or algorithms that may guide the search for solutions. Problems such as the Tower of Hanoi and the sliding block puzzle demonstrate the practical challenges of navigating complex state spaces. In tackling such problems, systems may need to prioritize certain strategies, such as evaluating the solvability of specific nodes or expanding the most recently added nodes first, as in-depth first search methods. This illustrates that effective problem solving in A, I involves not only a representation of the problem itself, but also a carefully considered strategy for exploring possible solutions. Ultimately, while AI models can simulate certain aspects of human problem solving and, and perform tasks with remarkable efficiency in specific domains, they remain limited in handling problems that require broader reasoning, creativity, and the flexible adaptation of knowledge. The challenges of representation, competence levels, and algorithmic strategy continue to shape the field, demonstrating both the potential and the limitations of AI in replicating human intelligence.